collect 20 milliliters from the water source to be tested in a clean container. Attach the filter tip to the syringe. Slowly pull back plunger and draw 10 milliliters of water sample into the syringe. Do not draw the full 20 milliliters of sample water. After drawing 10 milliliters, pull filter tip out of water sample and then pull plunger back, filling syringe completely with air. This step is essential to ensure accurate results. Remove filter tip from syringe and empty syringe by slowly pressing down on plunger. Discard this water. The filter tip contains the water sample to be tested. Remove the blue cap on the saline solution vial. Reattach filter tip to syringe and place the filter tip into the saline solution. Pull back the syringe plunger and draw in saline solution. Then, push the plunger up and down three times to ensure the saline has been mixed with the sample water droplets inside the syringe. Pro tip, the key during this step is pulling and pressing the syringe plunger slowly with light pressure back and forth. You should feel a little pressure while doing this step. Make sure the syringe has been completely emptied into the vial. Remove the cap of the test vial with the pink liquid. Place cap face up so inside of cap does not contact any surface. Empty all of the mixed saline solution into the test vial. Do not touch inside of the test vial. This could contaminate the sample. Recap test vial and write date and water source location. Let test vial sit at room temperature. Wait 15 minutes. Then, compare color of the test vial with this chart. Pink means the test found less than 500 CFU per milliliter and you have clean water. Purple means the test found contaminates between 500 and 2000 CFU per milliliter. And clear water shows the test found over 2000 CFU per milliliter and your water is highly contaminated.